Now, I know some of you guys seen that um, that Facebook Live video of the man, old man, getting shot, and the killer's name is Steve Stevens. Kind of a weird name, but that video really got to me, and a lot of people seen that. And basically, I don't know if Facebook Live is connected to the worldwide system but if the whole world seen that we all just witnessed a snuff video that's what that was somebody gets murdered on camera it's a snuff video we all seen that we all witnessed it and i can't get that image out of my head and i feel for the man's family and he's leaving behind a lot of family because of what some stupid bastard did you're going to kill an elderly, an innocent elderly man because your girlfriend broke up with you. Joy Lane, you're going to you're going to kill someone because your girlfriend broke up with you. How fucking pathetic and stupid is that? That's fucking pathetic. And you, you make me fucking sick. You're going to burn in fucking hell for all that shit. And. You know, that's a personal problem. That's a problem you need to deal with. Don't go after anybody because someone left you. They didn't have anything to do with that. They didn't know her. They don't know you. And you just, you ruined someone's life. You ruined someone's life. You basically destroyed a family. Killing a 74-year-old man. For what? I'm just so angry and that that just that shit just gets to me. It just hurts me. It felt like that man was a family member of mine. That's what it feels like. That's why I'm so just I'm so I don't even know what to say. I'm lost for words. But the reason why the video is titled Black Easter is because a lot of crazy stuff was happening on Easter Sunday. Yeah, in that Facebook Live post. And him all over YouTube and all of this crazy controversy, all this shit, it's just stupid shit. And then I was followed home at night on Easter, Easter Sunday night. I was followed home. Me and my friend, thank God and thank Jesus that my friend stayed over because I wouldn't know what I would have done if it was just me alone because I was dropping one of my other friends off at the train station and I walked him there because he had to leave his bike at my house because he was going to come get it the next day. And I'm just I'm so grateful one of my best friends stayed over with me because he didn't do that. I would have been I don't know what I would have done. I don't know what I would have done. I would have been out there by myself and it was a red truck. I'm going to describe the truck because I remember what it looks like. I'm going to make this video quick because I don't have a lot of time. Um, It was like this red like, I don't know how to, I don't know what model it is. I forgot what it is. I forgot the name. It's coming to me, but I, I don't know. I forgot, forgot, but I know what model it is. And it was like, it was like a box, like truck, like one of those new type of vehicles. But um, it had like, it was like a business looking truck. It had like a company name or whatever on the side and it had like this triangular like symbol on the side and we were me and my friend were walking up i mean yeah walking um down my street to go to my house now walking up um to go to my house and the truck like came up the street zooming and we um we saw it zoom past us then another car came people that lived by my um by my house my neighbors and then he the truck came back again good zooming again following our every move and we made it by my house but we didn't go by my house if you know what i mean we walked past we didn't go to my front door or anything we kept on going kept it moving because i didn't want that motherfucker to know what house i live in and i made it seem like i didn't live on this block that's what i did you got to be smart when you see like a suspicious person or a vehicle you can't go straight in your house you have to keep it moving you have to keep going. Pretend like you don't live in that house. Keep going. And we went all the way to another neighborhood, far away from my neighborhood. And it wasn't no houses in that area. It's not really a neighborhood. It was like a, an industrial area. There was just factories and just, it was dead silence. There, were, there was no vehicles out. 
nobody out walking around. It was just dark. There were some street lights on. And we just, we took our time and it's wasted time too, standing out there talking about our future and our career because we're going to be working together. And my channel name is Raquan Davis Studios. That's going to be my studio business in the future. I'm trying to get that invested and all of that started. And um, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, sh I'm still, I'm still in shock. That's why I'm not talking right. I'm still in shock and I can't get that image of that poor man out of my head. I can't get that out of my head. I feel bad for his family. I feel for them and it's from the heart. It's real. I'm just, just watching that news clip. It just, it gets, it just gets to me. I can't do this. It's too much. This world is getting fucking sick, sicker and sicker. It's getting sicker and sicker by the minute every day. Somebody's always getting killed because of a dumb fuck. Oh, it felt like something just touched me. And y'all seen that third eye video. Whew. And something didn't want me talking about. I'm not going to talk about it, though. <laughs> something to hold me talking about that. Um, but yeah, that's the thing. I just, I feel so distraught and I just can't, I can't put it in words. And it's so hard to talk. It's just, I don't know. Getting followed home, all that shit. And oh, Every time we made a move, every time we'd make a move, he'd pull up. I don't know if it was a he or a she couldn't see in the windows like that. I wasn't trying to look directly in the window of their car. They weren't right by us. They were like on the side, like across the street. But we just kept it moving. And every time we'd make one little step, they would pull up like they're following us. They're watching our move. That's what they were doing. And I was like, come on, come on, let's speed up. Let's walk a little bit faster because I don't know what the hell they're about to do or whoever was in there, and we just kept it moving. You gotta be smart in situations like that. You cannot, you cannot be stupid. You have to be smart. And that's all I gotta say, people, is just be safe out there, because this is a crazy ass world and it's gonna get even more crazier. That's all I gotta say.